you will learn how to scrap data from websites. I will show you with an example how we extract tabulated data from search result on Wikipedia. The task is to, number one, print top 10 tourist destinations in the world. Number two, print top 10 tourist destinations in Asia Pacific. Google for top 10 international tourist destinations. The search result page is invoked. Let's click the link which is from Wikipedia. The World Tourism Rankings page loads up. This first chart we see here is titled as the Most Visited Destinations by International Tourist Arrivals. I would need data from its columns named Rank and Destination to print top 10 tourist destinations in the world. My second task is to print top 10 tourist destinations in Asia Pacific. I scroll down the page and find it as the fourth table. Here too, I will extract data from columns rank and destination, and I note this table number is 4. Let's next write the Python program. Here is the program code. We import the pandas library as we will be using datasets from Wikipedia for data manipulation and analysis. We then read the entire HTML page from Wikipedia and store it into the data frame object named Visitors. A data frame in Python is like the spreadsheet or SQL table. Next, we print the title, Top 10 International Tourist Destinations. On the following line, we consider the data frame, Visitors, place the internal pointer to the first table, collect all data from locations 0 to 9, or 1 to 10 of the column's rank, and destination, and then print them. Similarly, we print the title, Top 10 Asia-Pacific Tourist Destinations. Next, within data frame, Visitors, we place the internal pointer to fourth table. We then collect data from locations 0 to 9, or 1 to 10, pertaining to columns rank and destination. And finally it's printed. What if we want to save this information? We can simply save this data from the data frame into a CSV file by adding these lines. We first gather the data from table 1 that stores top 10 international destinations, store it into a data frame object named df. Then we use the method named to underscore CSV function and create a file named top international destinations.csv. Data from the data frame df is then written to the CSV file. Note the index equals false statement. It ignores creating the extra index column in Excel. Similarly, we gather data from table 4 and store it into top Asia Pacific destinations.csv. These files are created in the current working directory by default. To save these files into a specific folder, specify required path within the to csv function. Do subscribe to our channel. I look forward to your comments. You can copy program code from the comment section of this video.